Hey good everybody, I'm Jack. I'm Nicole. I'm older. I'm younger. I'm white. I'm black. I'm from the United States. I'm from Kenya. I talk right. What? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would get you. That was not in the script. <laughs> no. We had no script. What do you mean you talk right? I don't talk right? No, you talk beautifully. You do. I will say, that's an interesting subject right there. That I don't talk right. No, you do talk correctly. Here, here's the deal with you, Nicole. And I'm telling our people out there. What's the deal? I'm you, get to hear this. You mm -hmm. talk proper English. That's oh, what you do. You really English. do. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've had this discussion about how in America, we, we screw up the vowels and things like that. Mm. Would you agree? Well, I don't want to talk about... I know, you're not going to put down how America talks. No. But would you say, though, that you're, I think, though, part of it is because um, Kenya, of course, was a British colony. Yes. Up until, what, 50 years ago? 60, under British rule? Mm, I think 60 years now. It was in 1963 that we got our independence. Right. That's, that's a while. Yeah, and so you take that, America, we've been independent since the 1700s. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, y'all are still trying to figure this out. What, this English thing? This English thing, yeah. No. Your own English thing. We speak the Queen's English. You do, mm -hmm. you do, and it's very good. <laughs> now, your native language, we've had a couple people ask us, Nicole's native language, Swahili, is what you, right? My native language is Lul, my, tr my mother tongue. Okay. Is Lul. I am what you call a river lake nylot, so my people, who are the Lul, we... How, how do we spell that? Just spell L it for L U O. Okay, Luo. 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 Yes. Again, I need to pronounce it correctly. Luo. Yes. The Luo came from South Sudan into Kenya. Okay. And we settled on the western part of Kenya, uh, where we our main economic activity is fishing. So we are fisher men, fisher people, fish, fisher we people. Fish. <laughs> okay. All right. That's our main economic activity, and we settled along Lake Victoria. So Lake Victoria, um, uh, three countries around Lake Victoria, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. So Kenya, uh, it's the western side of Kenya that borders Lake Victoria. Okay. And that's where our people settled. Now, Swahili is actually from the Arabs who came and settled in the coast, coastal side of Kenya. So when you go to the coastal side of Kenya, that's where most people do good Swahili. Oh, so it's kind of like in America. We have good English and we have broken English yeah. where we just kind of, we have Southern, you know, I talk hillbilly, I tell people. You talk hillbilly? Well, it's Southern. Well, okay. we talk in the South. You okay. know, you get me on that when I say, what you doing? Oh, 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 yes. Okay. And yeah. what should I be say What should I be saying? What are you doing? Exactly. Yes. So things like that. I don't like know that. what this, what you're doing is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Swahili is actually, uh, it came from the Arabs and people who speak good Swahili are in the coast. Um, but I don't know exactly how the whole of Kenya ended up speaking Swahili, but Swahili is our um, national language. Oh, okay. And then English is our official language. Okay. Well, that's interesting. There's a national language and an official language. It sounds like that would be the same to me, the national mm. and the official language. Well, the official language means most communication goes out in English. Okay, right? If okay. government is sending out something, most newspapers and stuff like that, but we also have Swahili newspapers. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, also, that means in school, schools are taught in English, like subjects are taught in English, uh -huh. right? Chemistry, right. physics, biology, So all when, of you, that, when right? you were a little girl before you got in school, yeah. it was mostly Swahili being spoken in the home? At home, yes. At okay. home, um, Swahili was being spoken, and then I'd learn English in school. Right. And then when in your business career in Kenya, you were always speaking English most of always the time? Always speaking English most okay. of the time, but because... Um, I dealt a lot with building companies from the ground up. Right. Ground up. So I was speaking at mostly to informal people in the informal sectors, and you can't always just be speaking English. Not everyone will understand English, oh, but okay. most people understand Swahili, especially mm -hmm. if you live in urban areas. But then when you start going into rural Kenya, right. then every kind of tribe, because we have more than 40 tribes in the country, then you get into now it becomes a little bit more you need to kind of know the tribe uh, mm -hmm. the language that each each tribe speaks when you go into rural kenya but most urban areas it's english and swahili so it's kind of interesting too when you bring up the tribes and such people watching will know this in america of course mm -hmm. We have the different uh, Indian nations, mm -hmm. which are still there. We won't get into that whole thing about what happened with American Indians here, but, you know, we have Cherokee, we have wow. Sioux, 
We have all the different tribes as well. And of course, they have some of their own languages and customs too. Okay. Just like what you're talking about. So Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting how we transition into what is proper English being spoken. <laughs> but your English is, sometimes people I know have commented that, that I kid you about how you talk and you kid me, but, but it is actually beautiful how you speak. It's, mm. But I pick up on, and you've told me that that's not necessarily right, when, when you speak Swahili, if you speak it sw slowly, mm -hmm. to me, it sounds almost Jamaican. Really? Yes. No. Well, that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. If I speak it, uh, and also, you know, Swahili is also quite, um, it's not very easy because most Kenyans will not speak the correct Swahili. It's called Swa Kiswahili Sanifi. Now, watch out. You just told the Kenyans they don't yeah, speak it correctly. We do, yeah, we do um, Sheng. It's called Sheng. It's like the, the way you're saying hillbilly. Uh -huh. So we also have Swahili where you oh. kind of like, it's Swahili, but not really the, the correct one that's taught in class. Okay. Right? So you, you end up speaking like, oh, it, it's called Sheng. <laughs> well, it's kind of like if you, if you go to Boston, mm -hmm. you don't park the car. You park the car. Oh, okay. That's what you do. They'll park the car. You know, here in the cell, I'm going to park the car. <laughs> you know, you gotta, so it's all different. And if you're in St. Louis, it's I'm going to park the car. Okay. You know, so mm -hmm. it's one of the, it's funny. You know, I worked in television most of my career. Now yeah. I'm in radio. And people used to always tell me, they go, we don't hear the southern accent when you're on the air. And I don't know why, but subconsciously, I guess maybe I was just more attuned to how I should be speaking. Do you find that sometimes when you're in America that you kind of want to be really sharp with your English? Do you have to be careful sometimes? Well, oh, I want them to understand what I'm saying. Well, it's interesting because, as you mentioned, the vowels, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to, someone to understand what I'm saying, but I find myself having having to describe it. Right. <laughs> we were somewhere the other day. They could not figure out what you, what was I cannot that? remember what it is. I had to describe exactly, yes. but I was saying it the right way, only right. that I think I was not saying the R or the T or something. Mm -hmm. Something was just... Because I understood what off. you were saying, but yes. they did. And then finally, I think I jumped in and said, she means this. Yes. Anyway, so, but that, that's interesting. That was that. Was that. <laughs> On another quick subject, uh, you had an exciting, what was a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to tell everybody watching, Nicole was so excited because the Kenyan president came to America. Yeah. <laughs> and all of your people back no, home and everybody was asking us, is the Kenyan president coming to our house for dinner? <laughs> and, you know, have we been in touch with him and his family? Well, and... this is a very controversial subject because I was just interested because yeah. I wanted to know what well, exactly I don't want to get you he was doing. Yeah, but yeah. most Kenyans are not happy mm. because apparently he spent so much money on that trip. Oh, he yeah. used uh, oh yeah I heard he, he, a, 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 a flight. Um, he chartered it? an aircraft that wasn't a Kenyan aircraft, right? <laughs> Probably not the best move. <laughs> so, <probably not> the, <laughs> yeah. So there was a yeah. whole there was a whole debate about that whole thing. So I really don't want to get into that. No, we won't just, get into that. I just wanted to I just wanted to see the like the key moments because he was right. he was he also so, seemed like he was having fun meeting Steve Harvey and Shaq and all <laughs> these people. <laughs> And those are all important meetings, I'm sure. Very, he, very important meetings. Very important. But, and for me, though, too, I'll be honest, now that I'm married to a Kenyan, I found it fascinating that he was here and what he was doing. But, but that airplane thing yeah. was kind of like, uh, yeah, that'd be kind of like <clears throat> the U.S. president chartering uh, British Airways. Exactly. It'd be it the same thing. something like right. that. Because you go to another country to get their airplane. Right. And he said it was probably... Because it was cheaper, but that doesn't make us look so good. Yeah, because you could have put the money back in the Kenyan in the economy Kenyan had economy. you used a Kenyan airplane. Yeah. And he also brought the entire family. He brought everybody, right? Yeah, he brought everyone. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, you're coming to America. Hey, kids, let's, let's load go. up the jet and go. <laughs> so they're here. But and, and for those watching that don't know, what's his name? What's the Kenyan president? William Ruto. William, William Samoy Ruto. Samoy Ruto. Yes, and he's okay. he's a doctor actually. So doctor. Oh, Doctor Ruto. Ruto. Yeah, he got really his kidding. he got his um, uh, PhD when he was vice president. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so, so he was. What going was he to doing? School. Taking classes yeah, online. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing. He was going to school while also being vice president. So it was. It was Oh um, boy, I have so many inspiring. jokes I can tell about American <laughs> politicians right now, but I'm not going there because we're not getting political. But well, anyway, it was kind of fun. And yeah, uh, for those that did ask, uh, uh, the Kenyan president did not come over for dinner. Unfortunately, we, we did we extend an invitation. Yeah, we did extend an invitation. We we made a whole fancy card. Yeah, we, we just did never got to it. Him, never, I don't think. Did we even mail it? No, I think it was more in your head than anything. <laughs> so. 
Anyway, anyway. so um, well, that, that's kind of that's been ten minutes. We just wanted to, we haven't talked to you guys in, in a, a while. while, and we were like, oh, what happened? Well, oh, it's yeah. because we've the past week um, we've also been busy. We were mm -hmm. we we were out. Um, we celebrated some birthdays, celebrating some birthdays, and mm -hmm. we wanted to you know be off. Um, off the line, media, off the line, <laughs> yeah. and just take some time to ourselves. Yeah, it's been yeah. it's been fun, and we may do that again because uh, mm -hmm. we know people aren't out there like, oh, where are they? Well, we had a few people ask where we were. But yeah, we're okay. We're working on those some really cool stuff mm -hmm. that we're very excited about. It's taking some time, mm -hmm. but we're going to get it done. Uh, you know, and Nicole's got a, a couple of videos that she's going to be doing by myself. Solo, yeah, that she'd like so, to do. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be faith based. Mm -hmm videos and then we're going to be working on some things about grief journeys yes as well yeah. so that's some of the things that uh, some of you out there have watched and all but uh, yeah. keeping things on the on the upbeat we also have been to some more little cool little restaurants and things we'll talk about those another time yeah, i yeah. guess yeah so uh i think that's about it hopefully you had some fun we did we did we've had some fun and this is um this is june and the weather is nice. The weather is nice. I'm loving the weather. So I am. Yeah. And you will, even though it's hot and humid days, if it's sunny, I'm happy, you right? I'm happier, yeah. So there you go. I'm a learning, as they say. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're out of here. So uh, you want them to do what? Please subscribe. Click on that subscribe button because mm -hmm. the new things that we are about to start sharing, um, my solo videos and the grief videos are going to be really helpful. So subscribe and share with as many people as you can and then like some of those videos so that, you know, they can be recommended to you and other people. Right. And don't forget too, if you're new to the channel, we have playlists on yes. our channel. You need to learn about playlists. We have playlists for travel videos, mm -hmm. restaurant and cooking videos, mm -hmm. grief support videos, and soon to be some uh, faith-based videos. Yes. And uh, of course, all that includes some goofiness with us as well. Yay. Okay. So, uh, have a great day. Better yet, a better tomorrow. Bye now. Bye.